Thank you so much. I am coming to speak with open heart, mind, and eyes to share with you because in our life, in this world, these days, more any, any time before, in our life we face hardships, ups and downs, tragedies, but most important, we want to discover ways to be able to learn and find calmness inside ourselves for a better world. We need to learn and the practice to challenge ourselves, not to challenge others, to work for a just, a human world. As a Palestinian who was born, raised in Jabalia refugee camp in the Gaza Strip, that I am proud of. And my, my life was a war with the full meaning of what do we mean by war, because people sometimes, they think war is what do we see on the screen, the soldier who is going to kill or to be killed. What we didn't see on the screen is tens of times of what did we see. I was born fighting to survive. In the time you see around us others who are living to fight. And the first question to ask, where we were born to fight or to live and to give life to others. As a child, I never tasted my childhood. But my suffering and other suffering in this world, it's not from God, because God wants every good thing for us and gives us the good. This suffering in this world is man-made. And that's the hope. It's man-made. What can we do to challenge this man-made suffering of not accepting it? As a child, I said, I will never accept the misery of life. And our parents, and in particular, the Palestinian mother, as every other mother, who is the hero? They realized after they lost everything, the strength and the power is in education. The biggest weapon to face the misery and injustices in this world is education. As a child, I dreamed. And to achieve my dreams, I have to work hard. I dreamed one day to be a medical doctor. I worked hard to achieve it. And life taught me, when we speak about life, as life is the hope. As long as we are living, there is hope. Life taught me that nothing is impossible in life. With determination, with hard work, everything is possible. Everything in life I planned, I achieved. It took time because I wasn't born with a golden spoon. I was born, as I said, to fight. I achieved it. But the most difficult time in my life is just in four months period. And I learned how to challenge these challenges, which were man-made. And number 16 will never be erased from my mind. 16th of September 2008, quarter to 5 p.m. is the day when I lost my wife of acute disease. I thought it's the end of the world because I fully believe children should be raised with their mother. The mother is the main pillar, is the one who sacrifices, who gives. The mother is the hope, the mother is life. 
and my faith and my values taught me the orphan is not the one who loses the father. The orphan is the one who loses the mother. With the loss of the mother, we lose the big heart, the incubator, which brings all of us together. But my daughter, Bisan, who was 20 years old, who was in her final year at the university, said, count on God and God's mercy and on us. Continue your work as I used to be the first Palestinian doctor to practice medicine formally in an Israeli hospital. Because medicine has one color, has one value, has one culture and one face. It's a human value. It's a human face and culture as all faiths and religions recommend. Saving one's life, you save the world. Killing one, you kill the world. I believe in it. Medicine is justice. Medicine is the human equalizer and destabilizer. In the time, politics created the divide. The happiest moment in my life is when I handle the newborn baby to his mother. The cry of the newborn baby is the cry of a new hope. A new life is coming and asking us, did we prepare the future for this newborn baby? It's our responsibility. My children, who are my life? Because children are the beauty of life. And that's one of the messages we need to learn and to listen to our children. They are wise enough to teach us and to teach leaders of this world. My daughter, Bisan, was the first girl I sent to peace camps at the age of 14. She came back and to say, I found how similar are we. Till now, we didn't find out that we are similar and that we are a human and we share human values. As Muslims, as Jewish, as Christians, as Buddhist, as a Druze, as anyone else, we are similar. After the loss of her mother, as many students, they think the most difficult thing in their life and the nightmare for them is when they have academic exams. She came to say, I learned something that academic exams are the easiest in life. The most difficult exams in life are life exams. When we are tested by the loss of the beloved ones, for a girl to lose her mother, I continued my life because as Einstein said, life is like riding a bicycle to keep balanced we must keep moving. We must not look backwards, just to keep moving, determined, focused, and not to forget the beloved ones. I continued my work then. The unexpected happened 16th of January, 2009, quarter to 5 p.m is the day when the Israeli tank to bomb my daughter's room, killing three daughters and one niece. For nothing they did. There was no reason to be killed. They were girls. 
if I have hundred of them, I will thank God thousands of times. They were girls armed with love, with the plans, with education. They were fighters for humanity. But as a Muslim, as a believer, it's important to have faith. Faith helps, and God is there when everything is gone. We need to count on God and to understand that everything from God is for good. We may think of it as bad, but later on to realize it's for good from the first moment said this a tragedy is for good and must be invested for good because it happened and the first poem came seconds after I left my daughter's room. If I stayed few seconds, I would be gone with them to be added to the numbers. Because at that time, even till now, we see it in this world. We look at people as numbers, as figures, as statistics. They have no names. They have no faces. They have no hopes. They have no parents. It's time to think and to zoom in and to look at a human as a human with face, with name, with families, with the future, with hope, with life. 